So Stefan, you're away to Celtic this weekend. Huge challenge for your team. Uh, how are you and the squad looking ahead to the game? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Uh, same as every game. Love going away from home and playing. Uh, there's no pressure on them on Sunday. Celtic are a really, really good side. Uh, I've mentioned before that they'll really look to trouble the top two this year, I would imagine. Um, so it's going to be a, a tough day, but we're, we're capable of, of getting something out of it and, and we'll look to go down there and uh, work hard and, and not just sit behind the ball and go and, and play in a football match. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Celtic are a team who regularly win games, but they concede quite a lot of goals as well. The goal difference is currently standing at naught. Is that an area you're looking to take advantage of on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's not something I, I pay much attention to, uh, their goal difference. They're a really good side, and the team that scores the most goals on the day is, uh, is going to win the game. So I'll approach this game in uh, the same fashion that we'll, we'll approach the rest of the games this season, and that's to go down and, and try and get what we can and, and try and score goals. Uh, they're one of the top teams in the league, so maybe you have to protect slightly more. Um, they play a various, a variety of formations, and they've got good players with really good rotations, and they move the ball from side to side. And tactically, they're very, very strong. Um, but we look to go out there and, and, and play our game, not just try and stop the opposition and, and try and impose ourselves upon them. And, and yeah, make them make them defend. And if you make any team in this league defend for for long periods of, of time, you're going to get chances. And then it's just about taking them. Okay, the last time you played Celtic, uh, the last game of uh, last season, a three-nil defeat at home. How much has your side developed since then? Uh, can Celtic expect something new from this new from this Aberdeen side? I mean, com completely different, uh, huge turnover in players. We actually played really well that day uh, in, in Susan Murray's last game, and, and Celtic were just a bit too strong for us in, uh, near the, the final third of the game. Uh, but not yet, a completely different proposition now. A uh, huge, huge player turnover, and Celtic have a decent bit of player turnover as well. So it'll be two teams that are probably un unfamiliar, and will probably concentrate more on, on what they are going to do more than, than what the opposition are going to do. So uh, it'll be a good battle. Uh, you've uh, already played the current uh, top two teams in the league uh, this season. Although those games uh, didn't end in victory, you had some good spells in those games. Uh, will Sunday's game be another opportunity to see how this uh, young side can cope against bigger teams? Yeah, we've spoken about that sort of development uh, week on week before, and, and you're right in saying we've had some good periods against Hibs and Glasgow City. Uh, that's, I've been really pleased with the sort of defensive organisation in those games, uh, keeping you know, top international players out for, for long periods of time. And, what we need to develop against these these higher tier teams is that composure on the ball and uh, to add that organisation to, to going forward and, and not just to sit in and, and try and contain and infiltrate teams. Eventually you need to come out and you need to defend. There's there's no team in this league that's good enough uh, to withstand, you know, having given away no chances. Uh, it just doesn't exist in this league. You'll get chances in, in any game if you go and attack. I, I fully believe that. So Celtic are just behind that, uh, that top two and uh, we'll look to get out and attack them and, and make a game of it, absolutely. Uh, uh, last Sunday, you earned another point and your first clean sheet of the season, I believe, uh, against Stirling University at home. Uh, how much extra optimism does that give the girls ahead of the trip to K Park on Sunday? Yeah, it was personally frustrating for myself. Uh, we gave everything on Sunday and we got everything but a goal. Uh, it was good to see the players moving the ball, uh, look more confident, expressing themselves, not scared to make mistakes. And our defensive organisation on the whole was, was good. Any chances that we conceded were through our own sort of individual errors. We weren't torn apart at any any points, the communication was good and, and we showed a bit more uh, imagination in the final third. So we just needed that little bit of rub of the green eye we spoke about before. So if we go and approach the game again with the same mentality on Sunday, I'll be happy and that's what we need to do. We need to go down to these places and, and go and attack and, and try and Celtic will look to dominate possession and we need to be, be not okay with that. We need to try and get on the ball, win it back as quickly as we can. And then when we've got the ball, look to build and, and don't panic, be brave, receive the ball under pressure, keep it, create our angles, move the ball from side to side and, and play our own game. Uh, I don't imagine any supporters uh, making the trip to East Kilbride on Sunday can expect anything other than the, the usual tooth and nail fighting spirit from your girls we usually get. I would absolutely hope so, I mean that's the bare minimum when you pull on any football jersey for me, is uh, run, head, tackle. If you're not going to do that, it doesn't matter how good you are. Uh, I say that week on week. So first of all, you've got to you've got to match that, and, and that goes for Celtic as well. Doesn't matter how good their players are. If we go out there and we work really hard, and Celtic don't, we'll win the game. Uh, Celtic are well aware of that. So both teams have got to put that that basic minimum effort in, and then we'll see how the football goes after that. And, and once we put that in, now, that's what I want to see. I want to see us getting on the ball, as I've said, and, and moving it. But we've got a young squad. Uh, Celtic are favourites. We've got no no doubt about that. We can go down there and play with no pressure, and that's what I want the players to do. Go out and accept mistakes, learn from them, win the ball back, be brave and go again. Stephen, thanks for talking to us and all the best for Sunday. Cheers guys, thank you.